In this video, Aubrey, let's talk about the future of robots. And we realize that we find robotics in many parts of our lives, in factories and so forth. But what do you imagine the future will be like with robots, even in our homes like this little one that is uh, looks like uh, whipping up a meal? Yeah, I guess that depends on how you define robot. Like, does a robot like have to have moving parts? Like, like the one in the picture, does a self-driving car count as a robot? I think so. Because I'm hoping we have more of those because, you know, research has showed that, you know, self-driving cars get in a lot fewer accidents than humans do. And I hate driving. So that would be nice. <laughs> okay. What about robots in the classroom? Could you ever see a robot taking over classroom instruction? Oh, that sounds like a disaster ready to happen. <laughs> in what way? I mean, the kids are definitely going to hack that thing. <laughs> what do you What do you mean? I mean, the, some smart kid is going to take over that robot and ha it's going to be chaos. Yeah, no, that oh. sounds like a disaster. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what about in stores like a store assistant or something like mm -hmm. that? I know that there are some stores that have experimented with that, but I, did, I haven't heard a lot about it. Okay. I guess it really depends on to what capacity, because... Is this robot going to tolerate getting yelled at? Will it know what to do when someone's yelling ridiculous things at it? Okay. What about, for example, a used car salesperson? How would you program a robot to actually negotiate in that particular case? I don't know. That's an interesting software problem. I mean, you think about it, you know, sometimes people have a tell. In other words, mm -hmm. they can look into the person's eye and tell whether they're being honest with you, whether they're trying to, you know, pull a fast one. I don't yeah. know how that would work. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like if we're going to that point, we're going more self-awareness. And that's scary because the robots are going to rise up and kill us all. <laughs> all right, Aubrey. Well, thank you for sharing your thoughts on the future of robots.